Well, how do there, chums? Does I, Captain of the Station, today, chums, I've got myself a lovely frickin' cup of tea on the go. Thank you. Mm. As the Captain Steve's brew, yes, I have my own brew of tea, like it says on my merch mug right here. It was lovely jubbly. Anyways, um, where were we? Yeah, we was talking to good old Artemis, well, we was about to, and then I ended off, didn't I? So let's go and speak to good old Artemis, and see what Artemis has to say to thee. Hello. Hello there, Artemis. How are you, sir? Or lady, we don't really know. Hello then. Have you triangulated your position? Let me know when you're ready to convert to receive some data. I'm ready. Confirm a Mondo. Excellent. We are really getting somewhere. Hold on. Cause I'll just... Artemis transmit some data of their own. A star chart showing the skies around their location. I don't have any equipment. I don't know where I am. I didn't even know how long I've been here. So I've taken an old-fashioned approach. I've sketched the stars. Nice one. You should find plenty of locals able to match our star patterns. My ship was nearby, so we can't be far apart. I patched my translator through so that you can understand what they're saying. You need to calibrate it first, but that should only take a few words. Good luck, or maybe see you soon. Right. Okay, brilliant. We've got the Artemis Translator. We need to get some copper to get it installed, Kated. But as you know, I'm in creative mode. So I should be able to just get that installed right away. Lickety split. There we go. Let's, uh, let's stick that in there. Boom. You don't have to put it where they show you to put it. But there you go. Done. Sweet. Now, if you haven't got copper, you can find copper. If you're doing this in any other mode, just by looking around the landscape. And you're looking for, it looks like a Trivial Pursuit icon. A bit like that. But rather than it saying dioxide deposit, it will say copper deposit. Like that. I guess. 500 years over that way. Oh, there's some bizarre creatures on this planet. You see these guys? They were added mm, a couple of years back. But they can be quite vicious. They can attack you. They can be quite nasty, these little guys. Anyway, let's not jump down here. Sweet. Sweet. Well, look at that. I've, I've survived a for quite a long time on quite a bitterly nasty planet, apparently. That's a that's a thing. Right, okay, well, um, let's just take to the skies then. And let's uh, let's see where we've got to go for this mission. We're going to go and talk to, I believe, some Gex, usually. Um, uh, I guess it might depend on what system you're in, actually. And, uh, let's have a look, see. Right, here we go. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, bring news of Artemis to Nada first, by the looks of things, people. Let's go and have a quick chat to Nada then. We've got to get a little bit further from the planet. Not a problem. Pow! And we're going in and we're going to speak to Nada, people. I'll see you when I get up to Nada. You can get to Nada by going up the ramps and doing all that sort of stuffage, but if you're feeling like a little bit of a tear away, you can sort of just you know, fly on top of this little cube, wait for your jetpack to sort of regenerate. And just fly on up onto this balcony and enter through here. Like Rapunzel, but in reverse. Hello there, Nada. There he is. He's the one that looks like he's straight out of Daft Punk. Hello there. How are you, chappy? Cool. Nada saw a signal. Traveller friend, did you connect with Artemis Entity? Yes, I did. Artemis friend wishes to meet other travellers. But they have... It seems Artemis friend has forgotten Nada. Curious. It's good to help this entity, traveller friend, but Nada advises caution. Ask who Artemis is. Artemis entity is or was a traveller entity, one like you. Nada had made them safe. They were known to Nada. This entity may be Artemis entity, but different in iteration. Another way for Artemis entity to be. For fraud. The universe does not like our little home. We do not acknowledge their rules and would punish us. Okay, so it might not even be the real Artemis. Interesting take. Golio, it's been such a long time that I've done all this lore and, and read through it all that uh, there's little snippets that I'm picking up on that I didn't pick on up before. Okay, Golio, continue to help Artemis. Hollow holds coordinates for Atlas stations and black holes. 
Okay. All right. Do I do I have to go through and, and talk to all of these? Is that is that what's happening right now? Because I think I should be on this one. I, it it keeps moving me from different ones to different ones. I should be al alone amidst the stars. If you feel you're being sent off on a sort of side quest, just make sure you're still on the one that's uh, the Artemis Explorer over here, alone amidst the stars. It does tend to jump you about from icon to icon, and it might distract you from what you need to be doing. So, yeah, just check your log every now and again like that, because... If I didn't do that, it would have sent me round to all the NPCs on the old Nexus, talking to all of them, and exhausted this little side jaunt at this stage. And maybe even made me go for a black hole, or even go and speak to the Atlas, and then it would have put me on the Atlas path. It can be a little bit tedious to stay on the mission that you want to focus on. And I, I'm not too sure whether that's by design, or whether it's a bug, or what. But yeah, it can be a little bit weird at times, people. So, if you are following me along and doing something similar, just uh, check that you're on the right mission every now and again. I mean, I didn't mind going up and speaking to Nada, because I knew he had a little bit of interjection around the Artemis quest line. And to be honest, the lore does tantalise me. It does give me sort of clues as what might come in future. Right, okay. So, here we are. Let's, um, let's have a look see if we can spot a building in near proximity. It's trying to send me somewhere. How far away is that? That's too far. It would be a lot closer to this. It, it was, would be in with a thousand U's. Sometimes you can look at your little coordinates down here. And you can see there I'm going away from where I want to be. I think. I don't know. Who freaking knows. But yeah, sometimes it, people say that gives you an indication of where you need to be. But I'm just going to land where I saw the marker. It's going to be an approximate location. When No Man's Sky first came out, there was no approximate location. It would just take you straight to the direct location. But now, they think it's more fun for you to use your sweep scanner and walk around on the planets that little bit more. And yes, you get to see a little bit more of the planets. And yes, you do a little bit of exploration. Which is all well and good when you've landed on a different planet. But as you can see here, we're back on that same planet that has those weird creatures on that I warned you about that can be quite dangerous at times. I'm in creative mode, so they, they can't really hurt me, and they're not even going to try when I'm in creative mode. It's like there's a load of Gravitino balls right there, so I know that this is an extreme sentinel planet. Yet, in creative mode, I don't have to worry about them either. I can just sort of go about my day-to-day -day business. I don't have to worry about my hazard protection or anything else. I can just focus on moving the story forwards, enjoy the lore, and uh, hopefully bring you some interesting content. But yeah, if you want to be in normal mode, just keep that in mind. You are going to have extra hazards to contend with than I. And because I've already completed this game in permadeath mode, and got the badge the legit sort of way, and completely platinum them this game, the only person that you know, I might be taking enjoyment from is myself. But trust me, I've had a thousand hours in this game, and that is not the case. I quite just enjoy doing what I'm doing right now. I find this quite relaxing. I find it escape from the day-to-day -day world. And, uh, oh yeah, I thoroughly enjoy No Man's Sky for that. Anyway, I'll be right back when I get to the location, people. I'm going to drink some tea. Oh no, chums. Well, I think I've arrived located where I should be, because, yeah, it's making a different noise now. Uh, I could go hit up that beacon over there and get myself some Navigasian all day. So I'll probably do that after I've ventured into this building, to be honest. Now, this one has got, like, a landing pad and a structure. If I just go into camera mode, so you can have a better look at this. Now, these are what are called minor settlements. And inside of minor settlements, you are going to find a multi-tool cabinet on the wall, quite often than not. And a vendor that sells modules that can be quite handy. But yeah, you can check out the cabinet. Sometimes you can find yourself a lovely multi-tool here. Now just to keep in mind, everything on my save is going to show as Nest class. The reason being is I've got a mod installed that increases the chances of S classes being there. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to get a slightly boosted model. Okay. Uh, right, so let's just go around here. Let's go and have a little chat to this guy before I move the mission on. So these guys sell, like, things that you're not going to be out of craft early game. And they also sell some pretty rare components. And also some wiring looms, which is great. But they also sell navigational data from time to time, which is good. 
and an exosuit upgrade chart. So that's not too bad. I might buy two of them. Yeah, that's, that's nice. Thank you very much. Entity. Okay. Uh, what else have you got? So let's see. What's everyone else has got? You see there, though, that it moved on a different mission marker there. Great. Okay, so there's a few bits and bobs that they've got there. But nothing that I overly need or want. So thank you very much. Pokey Cokey. All right. Well, yeah. So I've got to go back to my log. Look, it's moved it onto exosuit upgrades now. I didn't want it to do that. I want to stay on that. Just check your mission every now and again. If you hear a brrrp sort of noise, check your mission. If you see something pop up in the top corner of the screen, check your mission. If you see the dialogue boxes down at the bottom here change to something when you're halfway through doing a mission, check your mission. It's a little bit of a weird game, this. Okay, here we go. Quest dialogue. Oh, lovely. Sweet. Okay, there we are. We learned some words from this guy. Uh, I don't really need to buy or sell anything here right now. I think I'm all good. Okay, well, um, well, where's the mission in this place then? Okay, words can be learnt by speaking to alien life forms by or investigating ruins. All right, so I've got to speak to a couple of entities basically. That's what's happening right now. So I've spoken to one and got some dialect help there. Um, what I might be able to do is I wonder if speaking to knowledge stones is going to count right now. I mean, speaking to the wildlife is going to do budge all. Oh, great. Well, I'm looking for knowledge stones. Knowledge stones have their own icon or marker. And I'm not actually seeing any here. Bizarre. Anyway, let's go hit this up. Kapow. Now, in my ship, if I've got the economy scanner installed, which I believe I do, let's so pull my ship in. Let's have a look. Let's see if I've got the economy scanner installed. Have I got it installed? Um, I don't got it installed. Can I install it? So there's the conflict scanner. We get that in anyway. Oh no, that that is that. Oh, that is conflict scanner. Well, where's the? Hmm. Normally, you get the economy scanner before you get the conflict scanner. Oh, I have got it. There it is, right there. The economy scanner is in there. Okay, so if I want to find myself a shed load of entities to talk to, the best place to do it is at a trading post. Now, if you just take off in your ship like so, and you stay in the atmosphere of the planet. You hit this and hit the economy scanner, it will find you a trading post, just like that. Spin it around. Let's take a look for the um, the marker for it. Oh, come on, where are you, marker? Oh no, I've done a 360 and I still can't see the dang thing. Okay, it's over there, and I think it's hidden behind some other marker. All right, so let's just take on up up through the atmosphere, up where the air is clear. Let's have a look at the planet from up here. And hopefully I'll be able to see this trading post. Well, there it is. Let's head on down. Meow. Now at the trading post, you're going to get a bevy of freaking landing pads to talk, choose from. And you're going to get a load of entities to talk to. So I find this is the best place to go. And if you've already got this ship from the expedition, hopefully it's already going to have the... Economy scanner installed. If it hasn't, you'd have to get the blueprint up at the actual Nexus. You know where we're speaking to the daft punk looking guy, Nada. We're just past him, if you carry on down that gantry, the first guy on your left, he looks like he's got a cuttlefish for a head. Yeah. If you go talk to him, you can buy the blueprint from him. Yeah, anyway, let's let's chat to a couple of these guys. I love your orange get up, my friend. Thank yes. I do like the callbacks design. They're really quite cool. Request dialect help. There we go. We should learn some words from this guy. There we are. Sweet. We're now a language pro, apparently. Well, I, I just spoke to him. And the translator did not go up at all. Alright, we've got a journey milestone. Well, let's, uh, let's talk to one of these free freaking triplets, shall we? Okay. Is this going to work or not? Or do I have to go to the actual ones that they point me to then or something? Oh, there you go. It's moved on to 66% now. It is working. Good. I'm going to talk to this guy. Yes, come on then. Friendship symbol. 
Sweet. Is that 100% now or 99 or something? I don't know. There we go. We've calibrated the translator. Brilliant. Okay. What's next? 100%. Okay, and there we go. We've scanned. Large outpost detected. Well, this is quite a large outpost, if I don't mind saying. Okay, well, it, uh, I guess it's going to point me somewhere else then. Hold on. Nope, it's pointing me back up here. And pointing me back to the guy that I spoke to momentarily ago in Orange. Hello, mate. You got something else to say now? You. Insignificance. It does not register with a convergence of interest, but not of worth. Though the garboard of Artemis translator, it's clear that I'm yet to make an impact among the Corvax. I need to improve my reputational rank. Okay. Brilliant. Okay, so I need to get my reputational rank up. Well, I know a way to do that, and I can do that without even leaving this frickin' facility. I go and speak to this guy here. Normally you'd run missions and things, right? But no, just go talk to one of these, and go to Offer to Trade. And buy all the things that are purple at the top, like these things, right? Like buy all them. Okay, I want all of them, please. Thank you. And I'll have all of them as well. So I just bought all of that. Okay. Then just leg it back up here and just talk to a random amongst these guys. Let's just go talk to this guy here. Hello! And rather than learn language this time, what you want to do is offer a gift. And you're going to give all those things to the same guy. So there you go. And you can see there, my standing has just gone up by one. You see that? Right above my head. Do it again. Just keep doing it. Give him all these trinkets. Lovely. Do that again. Ba -ba -bam. And you're going to keep seeing that my standing, just up here, is going to go up by one. Or it should. Oh, yeah, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd, give, I'd give something to his mate. It made the noise, but I didn't see anything pop up. There you go, pop up there. It should, you should be able to just do it at the same entity. Maybe I pressed X too many times. You can probably hear me clicking away. These Xbox controllers are far more clickier than the PlayStation ones, I have to say. There you go, it's gone up by two now. That's cool. And I think I've actually gone over the actual remit. Anyway, well, there we go. Okay, return to the alien life form. There we go. Done, dilly, and done. You right, mate? Sweet. Ask about the star, star system. Scan the Corvax. Well, there we go. We just go for that. The life form's chattering ends. They stare at me with disappointment. Yeah. The life form shell casing begins to dilate and flicker. They attempt to scan my scanner, but it is clear that my tool interferes with its own. Allow the life form to scan me. Allow the life form to scan me. They create a three dimensional cross section of the body, exosuit skin, organs all included. Refining the model through occasional projections. Eventually, it's complete. Sounds cool. This this data is invaluable to the Corvax Convergence. Thank you, Traveller. I of course assist you. Give the star chart. I asked the life form to decode the star chart and provide a route to Artemis's location. Location does not exist, Traveller. Nothing is more tragic than a corrupt piece of code. I don't really want to imply they've made a mistake. The Corvax are highly intelligent. I'm fairly sure they're right, and what we've got from Artemis and what I've got from myself is incorrect. But we'll go with this anyway. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, they're, they've got a multi-hive mind. They're, they're pulling masses of brain power. Brain power that I just don't got. Yep. I apologise and leave. We're definitely not where we should be. Or well, Artemis definitely isn't where they feel that they are. So, we better go and bring this news to Artemis. His drawing, his doodle, is cack. It's not. It could be that he is drawing it correctly. Well, they are drawing it correctly, I should say. Yes, okay. All right, letterbox view. Please end so I can get in my poxy ship and fly. Potato to the skies before take to the skies. Hiya!
Okay. Right, is it going to just hit me up? You see, this is why I don't get. Why are we going to a hollow terminus when he can still reach me by galactic radio on my ship? You know, there you are, Kazert. I guess you get a few more Kazerts in here. You get a bit more gooby gook, but you know. I've found higher ground, I think. When you arrive, I fire my multi tool into the air to mark my location. What's wrong? Why aren't you saying anything? I'm not telling what happened. That is a bloody good cup of tea. That's impossible. I can't have travelled that far from the charted space you found my ship. Okay. Ask Artemis how he got there. As I speak, the lines begin to crackle with interference. That's probably why I'm using a hollow projector thing. Artemis looks up at the stars in panic. The stars, they have altered since I made the chart. Blinked in and out. Stars should not do that. Where the fudge are you, Artemis? How is this possible? What's happening to me? I need to get out of here. I need to... Cause it's quiet at first, but there is an unmistakable growing steadily louder. Okay. Each passing moment, a sound beneath their words. A sound as if glass could scream. Ooh, that sounds freaking horrible. Okay, um... That's what's happening. They're coming for me. I can see them. Smell them. Smell them. I discovered the glyphs for a portal. Traveller, a gateway between worlds. I thought it would lead me to another of our kind, but now I don't even know if the voice was real. The pathways collapsed while I was still inside. I found this place in darkness. I thought perhaps it was a planet. I was so wrong. I... I can see their faces. They are seeds of glass within there. They're gone. My data fragmented in the... I just wanted to discover worlds. I wanted to find other travellers. I didn't. 16. Warn your face. What? It. Please, not yet. I'm not. Cause the signal cuts off as it crackles into oblivion. I hear the name through the static. Apollo. Register ID. The frequency for Apollo has been added to my hollow terminus contacts. Wonder what just happened to poor old Artemis. It sounds like he got murdercated. Okay, right, okay, bring the news to Artemis. So here we go, we're gonna be calling in the old anomaly yet again, heading in and going to see that daft punk looking chap and uh, relaying some news. I'll see you up at Nada, people. The plot thickens. Well, I'm up on the balcony. Yes, I jumped up here like a, um, you know, a roustabout. Hello there! What have you learned, Traveller? What generates Artemis' entity signal? Mention the portal. I tell Nada how we fail to understand Artemis' location. I explain that their strange messages and Apollo and the portal glyphs. Nada pauses. Their lights blink as they process his information. Now, although this one's Corvax, yeah, he's actually separated from the Corvax hive mind. So this one is just on his own. But yeah, well, he's, he's got Apollo as well. But... Artemis slips between words, wells. Artemis slips between wells into the data fall. Our home lives in these spaces, but these holes are stable and small. Nada is worried, traveler. The cracks between the iterations should not widen. It will not help us. Artemis entity still does not remember Nada, so they do not. This is a puzzle, a trap, or a tragedy. Apollo entity is unknown to Nada more puzzling still. If Traveller Entity is curious, Nada has advice. The rampant crimson is the work of the Atlas falsity. Other Corvax say deity. Nada knows better. Atlas is a false entity. Hunts Nada, but travellers may seek them out. Draw them away. The false entity known as the Atlas is pretty much the Atlas stations. So we'd have to do the Atlas path. Apparently the Atlas path has a little bit of a uh, facelift and a bit of a change to it and a different ending so yeah we will be investigating that one thoroughly as soon as we've done the artemis quest line sweet okay well look it's moved me on to the space anomaly yet again so i need to put it back to 
um, Apollo the Adventurer. You can see the title has changed. The actual icon will remain the same. But yeah, and this subheading, Apollo the Adventurer, will always remain the same. So I'm just going to hit it back to that. And we're going to head back out. And we're hopefully going to go and find and talk to Apollo now inside of the Hollow Terminus. I'll probably be using Apollo as the uh, thumbnail for this, uh, this, this little jaunt to people. So let's head on out. And let's go and head on over. Let's go and have a look, see. Let's see what's changed. If anything. I mean, it's been a long time since I've done all this. So, at the moment, I don't think much has changed from the law. But it's not like I can remember every single freaking word. Right, okay, here we are. Let's head on over. To oh, great, we're not going to the snow planet. Nice! We're heading over to this one. I think I've already set foot on this planet. But it is nice to have it mixed up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, it's going to take me 20, minutes, 20 seconds to get there. I'll see you in a bit. Well, luck be had it, people. As I was flying in, I spotted the hollow terminus. It actually rendered in, so I've landed right on it. So no sort of gallivanting halfway across the planet to get to this one. Let's get our navigational data, because I do like navigational data, as you know. Right, well, let's fly on up then. Let's go and activate this. And hopefully we're going to be speaking to a new entity called Apollo. Yeah, not the guy from Rocky. That would be freaking epic if it was. Yeah, Apollo Creed. No, this is... You'll notice that a lot of the characters inside of No Man's Sky have got Greek sort of mythological names. So there you go, tuned to Apollo. Let's do that then. Chicka boom! And here's Apollo right here. Chicka boom! Well, how do there, Apollo? How do indeed? Chicka pow! The transmission is silent. The stranger just stares at me. Greet Apollo! You noticed his, his arms and stuff though are freaking weird. He's got like guns or something on his upper hands, and you can't you can't get those shoulder pouches inside of the appearance modifier. Say you're a friend of Artemis. There you go. No, you're not. Argue with them. Ask why. Why do you use that word at all, friend? It's just a label, a pretense to make you feel better about being alone. Oof. <laughs> okay, fine. Why are you contacting me anyway? Artemis is behind this. I haven't changed my mind. I don't care about their weird dreams. I'll meet them if I'm paid to meet. Even if this con con conversation is a waste of valuable time. Say Artemis is in trouble. I tell Apollo that Artemis is in trouble, that they attempted to use a portal, and became stranded on some distant and uncharted world, disappearing from the network. Apollo's demure changes. They appear uncomfortable at that news. Send me your data logs. Let me see this for myself. Upload the logs. Apollo studies the logs, pausing and replaying the various segments of static and distortion. They turn to me with a glow of excitement. Excitement, okay. These noises, they sound just like the echoes of sentinel events. You've seen them before, of course. Drones that appear from nowhere if you interfere with their precious planets. But this data is distorted. Inverted. There's a lot to gain if we figure out how the sentinels appear so quickly. And this, the portals. Perhaps they are the key. Agree. So what do you say? Do you want to work together on this? Be partners? Yeah. Why not? If you're going to work with me, then I need to expand your base of operations. I'll send you contacts of mine. They'll supply you with what you need. Just remember to be polite. Okay, cool. As hologram recedes, Apollo's head turns to the side, ever so slightly, as if sighing, saddened. Okay. Or perhaps it was nothing, a ghost in the machine. Zoom! He's off! Now, I think... That, oh, they've given me somebody to consult with inside the galactic map. I think this is where we get to hire our first base technician. Where's my ship? Oh, let's just jump down there. It's probably right below me. Yeah, there it is. Meow. Boom. Okay, right. Well, let's go then. Let's go into the galactic map. And we're going to get our first base technician. Sweet. Boom. Hopefully I've got some warp fuel. There we are. Being sent over there. And away we go. Tally ho. And we've arrived at Coded. Sweet. 
Now, the best place to pick up your recruits is inside of the station. Is it going to point, point me to the station? Yes, it is. Hooray and hurrah. Let's fly on in then and let's get our first recruit then. Hopefully it's going to actually put an icon above the actual NPC's head that we're going to recruit. I didn't look to see whether this was like, you know, a Viking or a, or a, a Gek system. Usually you get your Overseer first, so I'd imagine this is going to be a Gek system. But, you know, you can find Gex inside of other stations inhabited by others, so... Yeah, it could be any, really. Let's, uh, let's just touch down and let's have a look, see. Now, while I'm inside of these space stations, what I should be doing is uh, purchasing an upgrade slot for my exosuit and trying to expand my exosuit as much as possible. Now, you do that over on this side, and it's this tube over here. So any new stations you visit, hit this up. And if you do go to the actual Nexus to talk to Apollo, there's another one of these right at the very... Uh, no, by Nada. There's another one of these right at the back of the Nexus. I'll show you the next time I'm in there when I'm in a new system. There you go. You can hopefully upgrade your exosuit that little bit quicker if you're doing it every warp jump. Right, let's head on over to this guy. Now, normally I would talk to everybody here as well and learn as many words as possible too. But, you know, doing that on a, a video that I'm recording isn't going to be much of an exciting bit of video, is it? Life form, you've arrived later than anticipated. Data has been obtained, exchanged and utilised. New tools await you as instructed. Corvax has plans to update both exosuit. Where is your base situated, uh, sited? And what sort of hazard protection meets your needs? I always choose cold protection, mainly because if we ever have to go on a derelict freighter, cold protection is going to help you immensely in going on derelict freighters. So I'm going to go for that one. Excellent choice, interloper. Sweet, thank you. I don't know why he ended that with the word gra, because that that's kind of a Viking thing. A bit weird. Okay, cool. Anyway. Nice. Cool. Ah, I might as well learn a bit of dialect while I'm up here. I'll probably go around and talk to all of them. If I wasn't actually recording, I would anyway. There you go. Learn that. Sweet. Okay, so I'm going to be heading what back to my base, and we can do that from this teleporter just here. Of course we can. All right, well, let's go do that then. Hey, I was about to interact with that. Sometimes those journey milestones can be a, a little bit of a, a trip up, like, aren't they? So, your bases, and we're heading back to my home base. There we go, walk home. I'll see you there. Well, I'm back at good old Blighty, back at my base, and the base computer is just here, so hopefully... Oh, it says to construct the terminal. Alright, fine, we'll do that then. Um, where shall I put said terminal? Well, we've got the galactic trade interface there. I might stick it right by that. Construction terminal. Yeah, I'll stick that over at the back here, maybe. You can go into build camera mode so you can see a little bit better. Whoops. I want to put this over at the back, about there, if I can. Yeah, that'll do. Sweet. Well, now we've got the terminal. Now we actually need to get... Yeah, you need to have yourself an overseer. That's what I thought we was doing at this step. But no, we've got to go and hire a um, base overseer. Now, like I say, they're, they're usually Gek, so we'll go do that quickly. Where's my ship? Um, I'm looking around for my ship. I don't see my ship anywhere. Where the fudge did it put it? Last time it put it right up in the air. Oh, there it is. It's... I don't know where I'm going to be able to take off from there. I think it's going to get stuck in the, the freaking atmosphere, isn't it? Let's, let's give it a try. This is going to be dangerous. I wouldn't suggest doing that at home, to be honest, people. You might want to call your ship in, but use this launch thrust up your... Right, okay. Is it, is it pointing me to this station in this system? Oh, it is. All right, fine. We'll go there, then. Normally, you'd have to go to a Gek system. But apparently, there's a Gek inside of this station that's willing to come and work at my base. Sometimes you find over at the opposite side of the station, in, in, in this off room, that that's the case, which is probably going to happen right now. Let's see if that is the case, people. Yeah, I think it's going to send me over to the opposite side, over that side of the station, not to this side of the station. Let's see. Oh, yeah, look, that was right. The icon is over on that side. Cool. Now he's going to be in the off room then. 
sometimes there can be gnarly little bars tucked in these off rooms. You are going to need Atlas past level 2s and 3s to open the doors in these off rooms. And there's sometimes remembrance terminals behind them. I can't run through that. Okay, fine. I'll run around this way then. Over through here. Oh, there's a traveller here as well. Okay, well we can get we can get another glyph. We can talk to this guy. We can ask them where their grave is. So we go. Not what we need to do for the mission, but yep. Um, stay with them till the end. You have to go through this little bit of dialogue first. I've got a whole traveller's law where I do actually go through every single bit of traveller's sort of snippet of law. There we go. Off for nanites. Um, ask where they come from. That's what you want to do. And that's going to give me a new place of interest. Anyway, we need to talk to this guy to do the mission. Yep, I would love to have a, um, a an overseer, please. Sweet. This isn't part of the law. There you go. Hire construct overseer. There you go. Now when I go back to my base, they will be there. Cool. Alright, well, we've now got the marker to return back to the base. But what I want to do first is go to that traveller's grave and get myself another glyph before we do that. So I'm going to go do this. This is a little bit of a side hustle. Um, but I, I do want to try and get all 16 glyphs as quickly as possible, which means I can jump anywhere inside of Euclid, which would be really handy and dandy if I want to find myself some lovely sentinel ships or multi-tools or anything else. I can just go on the coordinate exchange or the interstellar index. Oh fudge, and it's locked onto my base there. I want to go to the grave marker first, which is just there. Let's go to there, and then we'll go to my base. Right, I'll see you at the grave marker, people. Cool. Well, it's actually brought me right down next to the grave marker. None of that sort of like approximate location stuff going on here. Just run down here, interact with this grave. Again, this isn't lore based. They do have some interesting stuff to say usually. I mean, it looks like this guy drowned, bless him. Yeah. Sued by the Abyss, which is another storyline. So th there's quite a lot that we've got to do. Cool. Yeah, extract the glyph. Thank you very much. Hopefully we'll do the, um, the underwater abyss missions at some point as well, people. But I want to do this, then the Atlas path, and then all the little sub ones. So anyway, let's uh, head on over here. Uh, let's uh, take to the skies again. Chikaboom. We're heading back to my base now, people. There it is over there. And we're off. I mean, I could go to the station and use the teleporter if I wanted, but you know, I'll see you back at base. Okie dokie. Well, here we go. Now my little overseer is here. This is pretty darn nice. Hello there, mate. How are you? You have so much to learn, so much to see. And this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Nice one. Take this glass and let's start flooding it into our jolly home. Accept the glass. There we go. Chickaboom. Well, thank you very much. Everything pours through glass in the end, but there's time enough for that. There are other things we have to do. Brilliant. If you prepare chromatic metal, it would use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. The overseer asks me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. But this is creative mode, so it might register that I've got it already. It might take a little while for that to happen, though. Trader Griffin is ready to make themselves useful, a science terminal, new Corvax guests, and for all of us, just a handful of chromatic metal. Okay, cool. If I wait for a second, it's going to say that um, I've already got the chromatic metal. Let's see if it does that. Dum dum dum. Refine chromatic metal. Okay, maybe not then. Alright, I still have to get the copper and refine it into chromatic metal. Okay, well that can take a little while to do. I've got to find myself a copper deposit, which I can show you how to do in the next episode. Right, so there we go, people. I think this is probably a decent stopping point. So I've got to refine a load of chromatic metal, which I'll do in the next episode. And we'll be putting down a Corvax terminal and hiring a Corvax for this base. I quite like the fact that I chose to build here with all these NPCs walking around, all the different ships landing. It feels like it's got a bit of hustle and bustle in there. Anyway, I better jump in my ship, out of my ship to create myself a little autosave. So let's go do that. 
in and out. Save to Kated, heck yes, and now I can just you know, exit out to desktop. So we go and quit to desktop. It should say, you know, I've done it six seconds ago, which is all great, all gravy, baby. Well, people, let's just jump on over here. I hope you're enjoying this little mini adventure of mine. I mean, this is episode two, and there's a lot of stuff in here that I don't actually remember. So yeah, I'm actually enjoying playing this through again. I think this was a good time to pick it up and play through again, since they have adjusted the Atlas path. But it's going to take me getting through the Artemis quest line to then move on to the Atlas path to see all the changes. I just hope that they don't change the Artemis path in the very next update or something. I mean, there is hints that they might, um, but we get to that as and when we get to it, people. Until next time, people, you guys have been freaking awesome. I've been Captain Oliver Steves, and if you like what you see, hit those buttons, hit the like, the subscribe, and if you've already done that, share this video out with friends. Especially if you've got a friend that picked this up during the free time, over the weekends or whatever, and they're new to No Man's Sky. I'm sure they'll enjoy it. Until next time, bye-bye, and goodbye again.